Benin Republic shuns Buhari's request for Sunday Bowu's extradition without trial may grant him bail today. Hmm. Efforts by President Muhammadu Buhari, efforts to extradite Yoruba nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Bowu, to Nigeria from Benin Republic have hit the rocks. The authorities in the neighboring West African nation have insisted on a fair trial for Igbo before yielding to the demand. Sahara reporters has gathered. The Benin's government said it will handle a request for extradition without first trying him for the re for the local offense he was arrested for. Sources told Sarah reporters Thursday morning. Sarah reporters had gathered how Igbo was arrested on Monday night in airport in Kutunu with a fake Benin's passport while trying to flee to Germany. He is expected to be arranged for immigration-related offense in Benin Republic later today after a spirited move by the Buhari government to bring him back to Nigeria. The source told Sahara reporters that the Yoruba nation activists had hired a Benin's defense attorney, Rafe Havino, is currently the attorney to the president of the Benin Republic. Igbo may be granted bail today. We went to court at Kotonu today, but they did not bring Igbo to court. So we called his lawyer. He was in a safe hands at Kotonu Criminal Brigade, where he was detained. They will take him to court today. Igbo has given a statement to the police. He was traveling with a, a Benin's passport, judged to be fake. The source prevailed to the discussion, told Sarah reporters. The Nigerian government, through its ambassador to Benin Republic, Tako Brutai, is bent on extraditing Igbo to Nigeria. It was learned that the former chief of army staff wrote two letters to the government of the West African country and insisted on the arrest and the extradition of Sunday Igbo. Brutai had in the letters described the activities as a terrorist and a murderer. Nigeria had written two letters to the West African state describing Igbo as a terrorist and a murderer. The first letter was written on the July 7th the second letter describing his bloodly futures was passed on the Benin Republic yesterday. A security source told Sahara reporters. The Department of State Services had on July 1st raided the residence of Igbo in Ibadan, Oyo State. Igbo had planned a Yoruba Nation rally in Lagos two days before the raid. The DSS raided the resident killed two people and arrested 12 aides, but Igbo escaped. The agency alleged that Igbo was stockpiling weapons and subsequently declared him wanted. The agitator has been on the run since the raid. Hmm. You know, Nigerian government don't respect the rule of laws. If it happens in Nigeria or Kenya, no trial. They will just extradite him. I pray that after their rubbish and selfless government, they will all reap what they sow. They will all reap all their evil art and steps. Whatever and as whatever st evil steps they've taken in Nigeria, in Jesus' name, from the president to the last position in government, Nigerians are reacting. Lord Jesus. I come against every evil power that is creating problems for Duduwa Republic now. We come against every evil Jonathan Swagger utter that has been raised to frustrate our life. We destroy such, such utters by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every power rising or causing troubles for Igbo nation, sorry, for Yoruba nation, 
let it be destroyed by the fire. In Jesus' name, he said, Kenya government must be regretting its action by now. That is how things are done. Normal processes must be followed. No matter the case, it is refreshing to hear that an African country is following international law. Let them go to court and present evidence of crime to the judge. There is an old African saying that he who wants to swallow the avocado seed must first consider the size of the, the avocado before it should surely come out. The APC government has swallowed an avocado seed by arresting Sunday Igbo and we are not going to be experiencing a pain of passing it out because the Yorubans are not going to allow this to, to slide. Yes, Ududua Republic. Now, Nigerian politics we play here. If not, Sunday is coming back home, either by hook or by crook. Except you don't want this country. Let's see what it's going to do. Because this country can back by back bypass anything hmm oh my god someone said yeah this government keep fooling themselves and they keep exposing their evil genocidal atrocities they have committed against the people the world are really understanding the evil concept of this government you can't suppress freedom of speech and the right to protest doesn't worry use it against the past government so why are you against it now you forgot what you you forgot what goes around comes around freedom of speech and right to protest has come to stay nothing you can do about it sunday a day or more must be free and Kano must be free so guys this is the latest update on the arrest of sunday Adeyomo in Kutunu, Benin Republic. I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.